okay you know what fuck it i am well like a sun traffic car in my is in fact i mean i have been working on it but uh, product challenge like okay like 24 hours build a sun traffic car all the time how you feel like what since i don't know what i am putting uh, pressure on myself probably just on to build this fucking stuff right I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I take a look at my life and realize this plan is to like get figure out how the whole thing will go when I do something so but I think I am I think I made a mistake in the flow that I also just to tell you how much time I have left I have pretty much hours still hope for the best okay so it's been almost 2 hours and I have been working on Um, yeah, I think I figured out the mistake that I was doing earlier. I wasn't calling the set definition function earlier, so that way I get the queue, the I mean, waypoint queue, and buffer for car to navigate, and I was setting up the graph and everything. They were only being called during the tailgate function or the overtaking one, if you can see here. So I figured out that I have to put one before I run a while to look for the rent stop function. So after the car falling one, I have to no. After no, I initially just before running the rent function, that this one, the main one that is running to these things, I have to call a destination function. And also then also look check for any condition. If I have almost reached the destination, then again call the set destination function. which i am currently doing yeah here if you can see okay. okay i think i have done it let me just get the script running and if it worked then i'll be Saying a lot of time and finish this yeah. So first step is just seeing how it drives on an empty street. Okay, it curves right. It's one thing. Let's like you know. So this I tried this thing spawning to see while to mm, check if overtaking and driving is working. I'm getting the required so cases where I can like have. Uh, Car following it or overtake car overtake car that is in front of me. For the bit, it I'm not going to be in situation. So I think I have to create one. When I still have like seven to eight hours left, and I'm going to have to do this. Yeah, then do it. So I just need to do a better script, go to car and go to pilot, and uh, we are place it in front of it and see what the car will choose to do. Yeah, it is a little bit of luck this matter. But that's what I'm. So it's like 9:00 p.m. at this point, and uh, yeah, I, I have like implemented the script for the car that of course that will uh, trigger the tailgate getting an overtake response, which I have previously done, and uh, I did the script. It's working fine. The issue now being that uh, since earlier they were not triggering the responses, I should have got some tailgating and. But again, there are st- uh, some errors that are showing up. I am a, I am a bit out of time at this point. I think I have twelve hours. Let's see. <laughs> I'm not sure uh, how close I am to making this driving car or finishing it. I, I must say, like, I have written the code, I have debugged it a lot, uh, having got a few errors, including uh, the overtaking one. But after That time, I mean, I mean, I only encountered like till getting error once, and uh, after that, uh, I tried debugging it, and then I rerun it and never get an error. Maybe I fixed it, or maybe I'm not. Uh, at this point, uh, 24 minutes left, so I think that's it for the for the whole project. And now let's get to how I was able to do it. So let's talk about how I was able to build this self-driving car. So for starters, let's talk about the beginning. So I start with agent or behavior agent. So this is the class that you uh, that you will have in your uh, color directory. 
in agent navigation directory uh, navigation directory we can see which is responsible for all the behaviors like stop at traffic lights check for overtaking check for tailgating everything that you need is going to be here so this is really important so you have to create an object for your behavior agent after that this is uh, something that i struggle with a lot uh, initially uh, you have to call this function called agent or suggestion what this does is the most important thing of all it will get the start and end waypoints you can get them from like a uh, world dot get spawn points and uh, you can or you can choose them manually so i see a lot of people like asking question like hey, people like how to get start and how can i set the destination for my car simulator most people reply you can't but actually you can you just have to supply the waypoints i do it through trial and error if there's a way uh, with open drive you can get the spawn points fine by me you can do it i don't know how to do it so i just use trial and error see uh, what are the values of x y and z that i have to give to uh, spawn the vehicle that where i want and it works for me okay after that uh, i call this trace route function which is inside the behavior agent class i mean this function trace route is inside the behavior agent and what it does is it calls first of all you have to create an object for there are two files global uh, global planner and global planner behavior you initially call global planner it has a function called get topology which is used for getting uh, creating a dictionary uh, which has uh, waypoints uh, which create entry and exit waypoints of the of your uh, of the car that is, uh, of the car and also the path of the also the path that you need initially what you need is a uh, your end goal of calling this uh, set destination is to get a uh, waypoints and a direction uh, you create a waypoint queue and get a uh, waypoints as well as direction that's the end goal direction and waypoints okay so remember what you are going for and follow along you create a global planner object uh, called dao then you pass a dao in the global planner behavior class then you call global pl uh, global planner behavior object uh, i've named it gb for now gb or setup function setup function calls four functions i know there's a mouthful but okay Get topology. Get topology is inside the global planner class. Remember, I said that you are passing a DAO, a DAO object in the global planner behavior. You call the get topology. Get the dictionary for uh for there are like uh, uh different things that you need like entry exit points and the uh and the path as well as the uh, segments and the all uh, stuff that you need. Then you call the build graph. Build graph. Build graph is very important. It basically creates a a graph that uh, that has n one and two. Values and one and two points to the uh, waypoints x, y, and z. You basically create this uh, <laughs> dictionary, set dictionary, set dictionary uh, called road ID to edge, which have like road ID, uh, then lane ID, th then section ID, and then lane and then lane ID equal to n one. And uh, these n one and n two are helpful when you create edges for the your graph. And your uh, graph edge creates uh, the uh, graph edge has this uh, information like if it's in section or not, if uh, what direction it has to follow, what is the net vector, and all these things are really important when you have to navigate on the road. So you use this uh, graph, uh, which is inside uh, this library called Network X. Network X also has this uh, input function called A star, which is helpful when you have to plan the route. Coming up next, wait for a second. You have to build a graph, then you have to look for loose ends. So let's suppose I wasn't able to uh, get, I wasn't able to consider the graph up to the point where I had the end waypoint. So what I will do is call this a loose, uh, a loose find function, find loose ends function. <laughs> we will check if uh, if I was able to reach the uh, last waypoint or the exit waypoint. If not, then I will add those waypoints and uh, in the in the graph in the, and with, as well as the edges. Then I will call this uh, lane change, uh, uh, see if uh i can change the lane get the uh, waypoints of the left and right lane check if they are in the same row uh, uh, same road uh, and this they, sh they should not be at the uh, at the junction segment they should not be at the junction uh not a good idea to change lane there so about that also after that uh you uh call, get, get back to set a function after that the trace out function that we initially call from the behavior class after calling set a function we'll call GB dot tracer function, which is also a function in the global behavior function. I mean, their names are basically the same, but this one is in the behavior agent, and this one is in the global planner behavior agent, global planner behavior class. So you call this tracer function. It calls a uh, uh, it first call the path search function, which uh, calls uh, which uses a star uh, a star as well as it calls another function heuristics. Uh, it basically calculates the vector of entry and exit point of of the two waypoints and 
a dozen lot of stuff you can just uh, look at it and you will say it's pretty easy after uh, calling the passwords function it will get uh, get the route and after that we have to check if there's a turn decision like we have to move left or right if we have uh then uh that we will up because in the build graph function we are just uh adding that as in the direction as lane follow there are different types of direct uh where we can go left right lane follow and void but it's basically unknown scenario that uh which is equal to minus one there are like values like one two three four five also there is another class uh, so there is one more class that i forgot to mention class behavior uh you can uh, define the behavior of your vehicle it can be a cautious vehicle uh take uh <laughs> which has a big threshold for checking if the class is in front of uh, if, if there is a vehicle in front of it how far uh, the vehicle should be to fall uh, to have a safe car follow manager function coming up next soon also there is a lot of other functions like uh, check if the uh, also, there's other functions like uh, check if uh, the car is in front of it or not, or uh, if uh, it is okay to uh, stop uh, minimum threshold for velocity, time, other things. Uh, there are other there are different behaviors like I'm using a normal class behavior. There is an aggressive one which is a uh, which which is a dangerous vehicle. It uh, take early risky steps. Uh, <laughs> sort of like a rash driving, you can say. And uh, there is a cautious one which uh, which try which drive like a noob. Not like a noob, but a very cautious old man that spent a lot of money on a car. I think I don't know. Okay, so then, uh, like you call this a turn decision, and after that you return the route route. After returning the route, you call you call a. There's also another. Um, it's, <laughs> name is local planner behavior, and local planner behavior you call a function called set global plan. I know it's a weird like local planner and set global plan. Okay, but uh, okay, this has this function, which basically does is uh, create a waypoint queue. I mean, we are creating the waypoint queue when you are initializing the class or the initializing the object. But uh, after that, you have to uh, add uh, add the waypoints as well as the as well as direction. So waypoint queue contains two things. You can have a tuple of uh, waypoints as well as the direction of follow. So you have uh, <laughs> there also this class called road option dot uh, road option. Which actually has all six, I think six variables of uh, the direction that the class uh, that the vehicle has to follow: left, right, both, main follow, wide. I don't remember all of them. It's something like this. Okay. After after you have added into the queue, you add those. Uh, uh, there's a buffer of five points. You pop the leftmost element of the waypoint queue one by one by one. If there is okay, and fill the buffer. The capacity of buffer is five, and the capacity of queue is uh, two thousand. So you cannot add like more than DQ. <laughs> After putting everything, you have successfully called the set decision function, and then you enter a while to loop. There is a if condition: if the length of the waypoint queue is less than twenty one, you again you call a reload function. Reload function basically does is it again calculate uh the it uh it first get a new destination because you have almost used the destination that you initially planned so you have to find a new destination after finding the new destination basically you can use a spawn actor point or anything like to just check that you're not at the that's uh the destination is not the same as start point same definition after that uh, you call the set destination again and do all this stuff if you have less than 21 uh waypoints uh 21 in your waypoint queue okay after that if condition if you successfully follow this condition you will get to a uh, agent or trend function which is the meat of our program okay so i don't know how, how much long this video will be okay so you call a update for update information function first i call this function it wasn't given initially but i was getting an error that uh what you have to do is uh there is uh, some there's a variable that we created like self dot incoming waypoints and i'm calling dot incoming waypoint dot is junction so i'm create calling the incoming i'm uh, setting initially incoming waypoint equal to none and since i'm not calling update from update information function anywhere i mean i checked the autonomous vehicle script and everything else i was able to figure out where is the update function being called and if it's not called then i'm not uh, i'm getting an error so i have to call this function so i'm just calling it be initially before i call the run after i call the run function inside the run function i have uh, called this update information function i have to add it what it does is it uh, get the uh waypoint as well as the direction from the uh local planner class uh local planner has this waypoint queue you know so it will get the uh leftmost element and uh or uh it will get a step there's a variable called step it will get uh up to third or fourth or something like that and get the waypoint as well as the queue if not then it will just get the last element minus one from the queue uh so you, i mean minus one you, you know you put the bracket and get minus one so it will get the last element in the queue after that, you call a traffic manager function. Check if uh, there's a red light. 
and it's not at a junction. So if it's a red light, it's not at a junction. Uh, so we will push the pedal and call an emergency stop function. Emergency stop function return the control for the vehicles, you know, steering, throttle, and brake, <laughs> and we return and we stop the vehicle there, there and then. After that, I check. Uh, I will call a cell load collision dot car wire manager, which will uh, call few functions like overtaking, tailgating, and the function. I also call BH hazard function, which is uh, in an agent class, which is actually the parent class of this behavior agent. Uh, has a function uh, BH is has that function and we check if there's a vehicle in front of it or in uh, in an close proximity in, in an angle or something and if yes it will return true vehicle state it will return what vehicle it is as well as the distance between the vehicle three things if the if there is a vehicle state and the distance is less than braking distance uh, which is the parameter that I defined uh, you will I mean just stop push the button um, I mean press press on the brake stop the vehicle if not follow the car there's a function that in the behavior agent that i call car fully manager it will just uh, follow the car uh depending upon uh time save time to stop the car if the car stop if the car in front of you stop suddenly <sighs> after that if there's an overtaking or tailgating then also uh, uh we have to like uh check for uh if we, there's a vehicle check for left or right turns and check for speed so uh tailgating and overtaking are uh, differentiated only based on the speed if it's greater than overtake less than tailgate uh yeah that's it and after everything is done uh you call a uh, local band or runshaft function which is uh using a PDA controller every parameter i'm using is uh, defined on in those in the scripts I'm not using anything else i'm using a uh, uh i was using a cyber truck and uh to uh check for if everything is working i was using a uh model 3 vehicle get in front of it and see how well it does <laughs> i'm not able to trigger this for the uh, overtaking but everything else is working fine by for me Okay, I hope the video was helpful. It will explain how the how everything works in the autonomous script. Likes. I mean, I did it in one day, in a single day. I mean, okay.